what quietly vanished without anyone realizing. Piracy. Most of the downloads nowadays include photos and video games on services. Maybe some Spotify songs for offline listening. But that's it. Back in the day. Literally anything from a music sheet to a fucking DLL could be pirated. Last year, a big file sharing website in my country converted into being a cloud storage due to multiple legal threats from various companies. They are probably making me even less money now, as most of their revenue was coming off ads. Centrist politicians. A lot of the Western world is a two party system, either officially or unofficially and one seems to represent 85 of the way towards the extreme right, and the other side is about 70 extreme left. It's really hard to vote for any of the major parties, and I feel like I feel like the only alternative to voting for something I disagree with is to vote for the extreme going the other way. I am old enough to actually be able to recall a time when people had far too much self-respect to ever act like a crazy Karen in public. I also remember a time when people actually had and displayed a healthy respect for authority. Now that I think about it, it was during that time, an authority figures actually behaved in an ethical way so as to rightfully earn that respect. Basic human interaction. I recently watched a video from Healthy Gamer where he talked about the distinct lack of human contact these days, which has led to an epidemic of touch starvation cases. As time continues, and we have to leave our homes less and less, we're cutting out an essential part of human health which is interaction with others. Yo-yos. In fact, they would be pretty awesome to modify and weaponized now with so much social media not to mention tricks, but they just stop being anywhere in the public eye somehow. People even put lead lights into that plugs these days, so it kinda surprised me that we didn't start seeing some really cool lead modified yo-yos around. Kalina Stewart Bishop. She was everywhere from action films to romances. Instagram fans. Twitter following dot 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 I met her at a comic conventions where she was the top bill. Then 2023 rolls around and then nothing. It's like she's wiped off the face of the earth. What did she do? TC Towers. Nowadays there are specific reasons for people to have these. Most workplaces will provide laptops and docks. Similar situation at home. I still see them occasionally in places like libraries. I'd be surprised to see someone use one for their personal computer. The coupons you used to get at the cash register along with your receipt. Unless they're still there and I haven't noticed. I'm not talking about the ones on the back of the receipt, but the ones that had a separate printer and were usually tied to your discount card. The beautiful night sky we could see without artificial light pollution. I mean, I wasn't there when there was no artificial light. But I know how the sky can look without artificial light pollution. It just disappeared without anyone talking about it. Time without ads on everything. Said with Webkins, when I was little. And I went on it a couple of years ago to play. And see if it was the same. And there was a pop-up ad that blocked the whole screen after almost each click on the screen. Texting on buttons having to press the same button three times to get the letter C. I was really good at that in middle school and high school. Now, you use a lot of dictation because I'm just not that good at the touch screen typing. Green options for cars. Go ahead, try, and find a green car in any lot. Green computer cases for that matter. Edit please keep talking about your exceptions. I want to know where to best find green cars. There were those vending machines that were put out to buy coloured plastic egg when you put in a coin. And inside that egg, there would be sturdy, good quality plastic, tiny little beautiful animals. Milkmen in the UK. I was walking to work the other day and noticed a pint of milk on someone's doorstep. I didn't even know it was possible to have milk delivered close to where I live anymore. The final month before Covid hit the US. It was a great two months for us, and I went on a ski trip. When I got back, it was only one two weeks before the whole world as we knew it was gone. The final month before Covid hit the US, it was a great two months for us, and I went on a ski trip. When I got back, it was only one two weeks before the whole world as we knew it was gone. Affordable rentals. 
at least in my area bottom of the market is 400 week now. Before COVID the same apartments were 250 week. Income hasn't changed. But prices have near doubled. They haven't vanished, just become camouflaged. But you used to be able to spot the crazy people, having conversations with themselves out loud. As they walked around in public, 24 hour Walmarts, come on man, stop making me shop on Sunday at peak. I can only take so much. It's bad enough I have to shop at Walmart. Now her can even shop in peace. Taco Bell used to have a chihuahua as their mascot. Little dude just disappeared one day. And anyone born after 2000 probably doesn't even know what I'm talking about. My friend Ian. Stopped seeing him around around 2006 or so. He never had social media and nobody could ever figure out what happened to him or where he went. Midi stereos and affordable quality cassette decks and on that note the glory days of. Technics on your Sony Pioneer Iowa Retail dot 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 PB crisps. Those were out of this world delicious. I used to buy one just for the ride home. Then one day, they blinked out of existence. WTF. Remember when there used to be small traveling carnivals that would set up in a Walmart parking lot for a couple weeks, then move on, slash puppies. Not like slushies we have at 7-Eleven and whatnot, but the crush ice ones where you pump the flavor into the cup. My me was it's like just yesterday I could get one off a TV ad, or at the toy store. Now I gotta pay upwards of $200 on eBay. Dizzy signals, answering machines. 411 time temp, encyclopedias, rolls of film, manual transmission, TV guy. Tim Gunn. Bugs. In the summer the car grill and windshield would be covered with dead bugs after a road trip. Now. Nothing. Picnics. When's the last time you've even thought of the idea of going out and eating outside on a picnic blanket? Restraint. Attention horse. Check. Corporate greed. Check. Hope corn. I'll let you be the judge. The ability to have money to survive day to day. I used to be okay with what I have and all of a sudden I don't. Huge populations of marine life. People will realize that they have vanished once the food chain collapses. The gradual disappearance of handwritten letters and postal mail as digital communication became prevalent. Public spankings. Parents almost never whoop their kids now. I haven't seen a public as whooping in years. Rid plain chocolate bounty bars. Blue milk chart everywhere can't find the red ones anywhere anymore. This question always receives answers of things that disappeared that everyone realizes have disappeared. Von Dutch apparel. Hollywood favorite accessory. Until it was re-abled he died an insane drunken racist. Occupy Wall Street. When large sums of money are involved. Things quietly vanishing seems all too common. Didn't we just have this question? and wasn't the best answer the middle class or a normal climate. Local music scenes outside of major metropolitan areas. Basement and VFW shows are a thing of the past. The one thing that will apparently never vanish is this exact question asked over and over again. Ladybugs. I haven't seen one in years. There's only those beetles that look a bit like them now. Payphones. I know people have noticed but it feels like no one really thinks about them much. What's vanished? The lack of advertising has vanished and now it's everywhere all the time. When you turn off the TV, how the image would shrink to a dot before slowly fading away. Lasers. They used to be pricey in a beautiful case and heavy with a bit of weight to it. Hey phones. They used to be everywhere. But I can't remember the last time I saw one. Key punch operators. Many of you probably don't even know there was once such a thing. Not quite gone yet, but coin loose change is getting harder and harder to come by. Courtesy, you're welcome. Now get the F out of the thing subway door please thank you. Stuff that used to be open 24 hours a day. Man I miss Walmart shopping at 2.30am. Pal world, haven't heard a thing about it in about a month or two. Maybe longer. I wish this question would quietly vanish. It gets posted at least once a week. City weeklies with listings of concerts, films, etc. 
They used to be essential. Those little disposable cups in the bathroom to rinse your mouth out with. That old social media app vanished. No one even noticed. Like, poof. Those shoes with lights on the heel. It was hot shit in early 2000s. The family that used to live in my house just before I moved in. My happiness. Don't worry, it resides in the people that took it. Community at least in the West, hence the loneliness epidemic. NFTs used to be so popular, but I never hear about them anymore. Rollerblades, dislike YouTube and other platforms. The last thread on here that asked exactly the same question. Arcade machines in stores and restaurants. Also jukeboxes. Non-white toilet paper. Used to come in pastels and prints. Unicorns. No one remembers them. Ask anyone. You'll see. Getting five calls a day about my car's extended warranty. Please enjoy the music while your party is reached. Commercials. The cool variety of cell phones that were 2003-2007. My self-respect. I found it again. Ten years later. Limousines. Regulations finally caught up to them. That whole diner on Main Street. Gone like a whisper. Philadelphia cheesecake bars. I miss them so much.